How's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about eight iOS podcasts that you should be listening to. Now, uh, this is just the podcast that I listen to. There are a ton out there that I don't get to, and it's no offense to them. So if I missed you on this list, it's just that either I'm not aware of you or there's just only so many podcasts I could listen to. So that being said, I would love for this video to be a great resource uh, in the comments. So please, if I didn't mention a podcast, please leave it in the comments, let people know. And if you're watching this video, check the comments. There's some good value down there. Now this is an update to a video I did about a year and a half ago. Uh, the early videos make me cringe. Uh, there are a couple repeats from that video, but most of them are brand new as new podcasts have come out. However, if you wanna check out that video, uh, the link will be in the description. Let's get to it. Now these are in no particular order. I'm just gonna throw them up there, give a quick 30 second summary of what they are, how often they come out uh, and so forth. So first of all, again, no particular order. There's a great podcast called Swift Over Coffee, brand new one just came out uh, by Paul Hudson and yours truly. Again, no particular order, I promise. Anyway, uh, Paul and I just started this podcast. Uh, it's great, Paul is super knowledgeable. Uh, you may know him from Hacking with Swift. Years and years of experience and knowledge brings a lot to the table. Each episode has the top news stories. Uh, we do a My Pick section where Paul and I each pick something we really like that we found this week. And then we do an open ballot where we reach out to Twitter and we gather a bunch of responses and review them and go over them on air. So that is Swift Over Coffee uh, every other week. Check it out. Next up, we have Swift Unwrap. Now, Swift Unwrap is a little more advanced and it follows the Swift evolution. If you're not familiar with the Swift evolution is, again, link down in the description, Swift is open source. So it's constantly being worked on. Uh, proposals are constantly being discussed and reviewed. So that's what this podcast covers. Those discussions uh, around proposals, what got accepted, what's under review, and the new stuff coming in future versions of Swift. So if you wanna stay really up to date and even ahead of the curve on what's coming in Swift, uh, this podcast, is definitely great. Moving on, we have a podcast by John Sundell called Swift by Sundell. Uh, I like this podcast because I was on it. There's, there's more reasons than that. But no, honestly, this podcast is awesome. He has a different guest uh, every week and it caters to that guest strength. So for example, when I was on it, we talked about content creation, teaching, sharing, uh, but you know, have other developers on that maybe specialize in open source. And then the whole topic of that episode will be about open source. So you're gonna get a wide variety of topics uh, from very knowledgeable developers. And this comes out every week, definitely subscribe. Sticking with the Johnson Dell theme, let's talk about Stack Trace. This is uh, another podcast Johnson Dell co hosts with Guy Rambo, and you may have heard of Guy Rambo from uh, all the Apple leaks. So, Guy does his famous spelunking where he, you know, dives into the code of the betas and, you know, discovers potentially what's coming out down the future and, you know, stuff Apple may not want you to know about yet. So, uh, this podcast is great because they talk about all that spelunking and what's coming down the pipe, as well as the recent news in the iOS space, but from a developer's perspective. Uh, so, again, this is another must listen. And now it is shameless plug time iOS Dev Discussions, that is my podcast. Right now it's mostly uh, audio versions of my videos. That is Swift News every Monday. I throw up the audio version there. Uh, it's got a couple of my old live streams, which are usually an hour long. And basically the reason behind that was between Swift News and the live streams, they were longer videos. So many people didn't have time to sit down in front of the computer and watch them. So they kept asking for audio versions. That's what iOS Dev Discussions is for now. I do have plans to come out with more podcasty type content, uh, interviews. I have a series that I wanna do called Origin Stories where I interview a bunch of developers and kind of get a feel for like, what made you wanna start coding? When was that? Was that early in life? Was that later in life? Anyway, more podcasty stuff is coming for iOS Dev Discussions. Check it out. Up next, we have Fireside Swift by Zach and Steve. They just did a, a rebranding. I like their new logo. Uh, I like this podcast because it's a very casual, laid back, just conversation uh, about things going on in Swift and, and general Swift topics, uh, kind of from a beginner's perspective. So if you are just starting out learning, you want a casual atmosphere to just talk about Swift, uh, this is certainly the podcast for you. Check it out. Next up, we have one of my favorites called Under the Radar. Now, I've been listening to this podcast since it came out a couple years ago, and even David Smith's podcast before that. So, uh, as I just mentioned, this is hosted by David Smith and Marco Arment, two longtime, very experienced iOS developers. I believe have been creating apps since the App Store launched, so you're gonna get a wealth of knowledge there, and you're gonna get the independent uh, developer's perspective. I believe they've both been making their living on the App Store for a very, very long time. Uh, Marco is the creator of Overcast, a podcasting platform, good tie into the video, and David Smith has, I don't know, I think a million, two million apps on the App Store. Obviously that's an exaggeration, but he's got plenty of apps on the App Store. So 
Uh, again, it's, this is weekly and it's a short one, uh, only about 30 minutes. And uh, I just, I love listening to it every week. It's a long time staple uh, in my list. Uh, check it out. And then finally, we have Swift Coders. Now, this is by Garrick. I'm not sure if Garrick's still doing this show, to be honest with you. It's been a couple months since he's released an episode, but I'm still recommending it because the backlog is fantastic, uh, especially an episode that has me on it. <laughs> I promise I'm not just featuring these because I've been on them, but uh, this is honestly fantastic because there's been so many developers from major companies, and uh, he goes into their story. So, like, their background how they became developers, kind of about their first job, just their, their whole development story. So it's not so much about coding specific stuff, but just, again, the, the story of the iOS developer. So it's a different take on things. And, and I really, really like this one. So again, Swift Coders uh, by Garrick. And again, I'm not sure if new episodes are coming out, but that doesn't matter. The backlog's great. So there you have it. Those are the eight podcasts that I listen to on a regular basis. Uh, if you have more or I missed one, please leave a comment. And if you're watching this, read the comments. Hopefully there's a lot of value in there and more podcasts for you to check out. If you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing. I put out Swift news every Monday and a couple tutorials throughout the week. See you in the next one.